This is Neil Schneider for MTVS TV at the Level Up Gaming Showcase in Toronto. To my immediate right is Steve Engels, Senior Lecturer at the University of Toronto. And to his immediate right is none other than Dr. Andrew Ho, who's a Program Director for the Game Development and Entrepreneurship Program at the University of Ontario Institute of Technology. And isn't it amazing that I got all those words out of my mouth? Good job, Neil. Good job. <laughs> so, gentlemen, uh, you're both uh, a pair of the key organizers for this event. So, uh, Steve, what can you tell us about the Level Up Showcase? Well, it's a great chance for students from all over Ontario to come by, show off the things that they've done to the general public and the industries, and uh, just have a great time. You know, wh why are events like this so important? Well, often what we find is that people get a chance to make amazing things in our classes, but the world doesn't get a chance to see them or understand how, how talented they are. But this kind of showcase allows people to come in, see what kind of things people are capable of, and maybe even hire a few people if they like them. Wonderful, wonderful. Uh, so Andrew, maybe you could tell us about some of the industry partners who are, are helping make this event possible. Sure, yeah, we have a lot of different industry sponsors. We have Ubisoft sponsoring it, we have uh, AMD, Sheridan, uh, we have OCADU, we've got Big Viking Games, we've got Yukon Games, we've got a whole bunch of different sponsors all over the place. Uh, probably missing a few. But, uh, but yeah, so without them we couldn't make this possible and, uh, and, and we thank them for sure. This is a wonderful turnout. I mean, you just look behind us and it's just lots and lots of activity. How, how, how long, Steve, how long have you been putting this event together? Well, I mean, all of us have had our own kind of individual shows where our students put together things and show them to the world. But, I mean, we've only been working on this collaboratively for maybe about four years now. You know, it started off with U of T, OCAD, and UIT, and it's just spiraled out of control. Do you think you could put a number to how many people uh, attend this event? Oh, well, last year we had over 800 people come by. This year we're hitting capacity, so I'm estimating about 1,000 at least. Wonderful, wonderful. Would you say that the game development, uh, I would call it the industry, but let's say the number of students taking programs like this, is it increasing? Is it becoming more and more in demand than it was a few years ago? <laughs> yeah, I think, I think it is increasing. I think you're seeing a lot of different programs pop up. You see the traditional route, you know, you see a lot of people doing computer science and, uh, and programming in that, that sense, and then you see a lot of game arts programs popping up, and you also see a lot of game development and game design programs popping up as well, focusing on different aspects. Especially in Ontario, you see a lot of different, uh, different takes on, on the game development process um, you know, coming to fruition in different universities and colleges. You know, one thing that fascinates me about game development is it's not necessarily about video games. I mean, I, would you say that a lot of the talent that you see here may end up in other industries, but using the same talent base? Oh, I, I believe so, absolutely. Uh, you know, what is a video game other than interactive media? And interactive media is huge. Uh, so understanding how users actually interact with systems and de how to develop systems that engage them is the core of video games. So I think that is applicable in a lot of different industries. Uh, training, education, healthcare, a whole pile of different sort of things. Wonderful. Now, Steve, I'm going to put you on the spot here. And you, I know you can't exactly play favorites, okay. but have you seen some wonderful ideas on the show floor here? Things that are you, are you, you're personally excited about? I've seen amazing stuff. I mean, in the past, we've sometimes been, you know, we've seen like a variety of different levels. But here, it just seems like every year people just bring their A game and their A game just gets better and better. So I just looked around and I'm amazed. It would take me all night, I think, just to figure out which ones were the quote unquote best. But fortunately, that's what we have judges for. <laughs> let, let me rephrase the question. Yeah. Are there ideas that you're seeing in these games that you haven't seen before? Can you maybe elaborate on some creative ideas that you've seen that, that oh, make man. things stand out? Mostly, I think the thing I really like is that is the Oculus Rift. I mean, this is a technology that's doing cool things, and seeing our students embrace it is, is amazing. Like, and that's the one thing that I think has really impressed me, like embracing new technology that people have never explored before. Andrew, you, you got caught now. Now you got to answer this question. Um, the UOIT, of course, joined the Immersive Technology Alliance, and I know UOIT, of course, has an interest in immersive technology. Where, where do you see, thing, see things going? Obviously, companies like Oculus have been in the news. Uh, do you think this is going to be continually important? Do you see something growing out of this? Uh, yeah, no, I think, I think having uh, the, the, the fact that hardware is now available that's inexpensive and uh, easy to, to develop for uh, opens up a lot of different possibilities. You know, VR has been around, VR has been around since the 1970s uh, and possibly even earlier in the, in the military. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's never been accessible to the public or, or to students really until now. 
uh, with with the you know influx of, of Oculus Rift and all the different diff types of technologies. Um, just as an example, we have a uh, flight simulator downstairs using Oculus Rift, and I know U of T has Office Joust, which is fantastic, um, which we have a developer here, which I'm sure you'll talk to soon. And, um, and yeah, we have things like, you know, the, uh, the immersive uh, leap motion, which is amazing, you know, trying to use your hands and gestures without actually touching a controller. This is, I was actually, this is something that really impressed me this year. Last year you had this wonderful turnout, and we actually showed some immersive technology. Um, in fact, a company called MetaView discovered some famous people here and ended up helping build a company from this event. So it actually had a very important role. And I'm just really pleased to see all t types of immersive technology being used here. So congratulations. Obviously you're, having, you're both having a positive influence on your students. Uh, we'd like to think so, or we'd like to hope so. <laughs> Excellent. Well, thank you both for, for joining us, and uh, I'm looking forward to trying out some of this stuff. So this is Neil Schneider for MTVS-TV at the Level Up Gaming Showcase, back with more. Thank you for watching.